Okay, I'm going to be separating the sourdough pancake recipe separate from everything else that is usually going on in the background. So here it is going to be two cups of the starter. It does not have to be an active starter. You can use a spent starter or discard, whatever you have. I do like mine to be an active starter. Nice and fluffy and thick because it helps the pancakes to thicken up and be fluffy as well. So I just poured everything out. I didn't really measure. I know how much I fed it last night. And so I'm just using however it doubled up to. But it'll be around two cups of starter. And then it will be two tablespoons of whatever sweetener you would like to use. I am using Sucanit. That is what we like to use or what I like to use in the house whenever I'm baking or cooking. So I did two tablespoons of Sucanit but you really can do whatever you want. If you want to put honey or even maple syrup inside the pancakes or whatever you like to use. And then it will be one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I am going to be using the vanilla bean powder. So I will only be using half a, a teaspoon because if you do the vanilla bean powder, it is stronger than the vanilla extract. So you only use half of what the recipe calls for. So then there's going to be two eggs. And it can be cold, room temperature, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. You do want to add that last because when it comes in contact with the starter, it does tend to react together pretty quickly. So you can do a dash of salt. Here I didn't. And then you're just going to whisk it up until it's nice and fluffy and foamy. Here I'm getting some coconut oil on my cast iron skillet. This is what I like to cook our pancakes on but of course you use whatever you are used to using or like to use to do your pancakes and it is really really that simple not complicated at all it goes together really quick it makes for a very quick easy breakfast so here since my jar is very very dirty I am transferring what I had left in my jar to a clean jar and if you saw there I did not need very much starter left over I added some um, all-purpose flour and then this is where I'm mixing in the water and then I'm gonna get it to the consistency that I like I do half flour half water and um, I do like it on a little bit on the thicker side you just want to make sure that all the flour is nice and wet and you don't have any dry spots and then I'm gonna cover it up with something breathable on top and it will be ready to go for when I need it next so I hope this was helpful and I no, it's still pretty fast, but it really doesn't take long to get it done. 